good morning. Rise and shine. You listen to this every day? Yes, sir. Okay. You listen well, to this every day? Yes, sir. Usually, I don't get it in the morning. It's in the evening. But I get both versions after supper. That's after neat. work. Yep. You often tell me that. Did you, you do it every day? Yep. Has it had any influence on your life? Very much so. Very much so. Uh... Just so positive, and I look so forward to it. I look forward to Sundays, coming to church Wednesday nights, but every day to to receive such a message, and I'm just Joy and I are just so blessed, thankful that we've come to Mountain Top. Maybe it'd be good if you invite, you know, give an invitation to people. Anybody out there, come and join us. 8 o'clock on Sunday, 10 o'clock on Sunday, 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. And uh, tell them to wear the three-piece suit to come dress up, right? <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> wear anything you want. You're welcome. Just like this. Yes. If you came to church like this, would anybody look down on you? No, sir. No, sir. You're going to get smiles and hugs and welcomed. Yum. For sure. It's really special. It really is. Guarantee you. You really gave your heart to the Lord and were baptized since you came to Mountain Top. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Tell about that for a minute, will you please? It just, uh, I thought I was doing well in my uh, walk of life and going to Mountain Top. It just, it just kept building and filling me with the Spirit and I just had to give my life to Jesus and to get baptized I've never experienced anything that's changed me so much and from that uh, I guess almost the whole family comes to Mountain Top and we're very very blessed we're blessed to have you there you put the seeds in the ground kept the weeds away and nourished this little baby This is a sign of growth, isn't it? Yes. That's a big tomato. Yep. Full-grown tomato. Yep. In our Christian life, you know, a couple of years ago, you, you, you and I have talked. You can just go through your life and just kind of coast through it and think, well, everything's okay. Yep. But you've told me that as a result of this new experience you're having with the Lord that you're growing spiritually. Yes, sir. Would that be true? Yes, sir. You know, you're in the Word, you're hearing the Word, and yep. you listen to this twice a day. Yep. It, it's the community and the fellowship in the Word of God that helps you to grow, doesn't it? Yes. You brought this over to give to me this morning. That made you feel good. To, now, what if that thing had got about this big and just stayed right there? We gave it to Charlotte. She likes, <laughs> she likes, she likes things a little scary. <laughs> I won't answer. I wasn't expecting that. We would give it to Charlotte. Yeah, she likes them little cherry tomatoes. Yeah, she does. I wanted yours to cover the slice of bread. You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we give it to Charlotte. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's, that's fine, man. You're uh, growing in the Lord is important. I'm going to switch over here and talk to, to Kalen. Yeah. You're going to have to make it like that. You've got to take care of it every day. you got to water it. you got to keep the weeds off. Yeah, you got to do something to keep the worms from infesting it. Uh, this tomato looks to me like it was under a little bit of stress. And it just buckled in. Said, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be a big tomato. No matter what it takes, I'm going to. That's growth. You're a new Christian. Can I talk to you? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Uh, on public TV here? <laughs> Coming to church on a regular basis, reading the Word of God, or listening to somebody else read it on a regular basis. Giving our hearts to the Lord every day and saying, I want to grow in the Lord. I don't, I don't, I don't want to remain a small tomato. I want to grow big in my heart towards the Lord. 
if you don't grow, you just become stagnant. You just, sooner or later, you dry rot and you just fall off the vine if you're not careful. If what you what you put in yourself, he probably stuck a little miracle grow in this. That's like the Holy Spirit, uh, you know. It, it, it's like the blood of Jesus. You, you, you've got to put something in to get this kind of growth. Like you don't find many of these under the shade tree out in the fence row. You know, you've got to put something in to get it grow. Yeah. And it's really important to put the right ingredients into your life to grow spiritually. Because these are days when there's a lot of falling away. Falling away is really important that we grow spiritually. Does that make any sense? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, yeah. Mike, oh, go ahead. You can say Our something? secret weapon is mushroom mold. Mushroom mulch? Yes, sir. I wish you wouldn't have said that. Why? Well, because every year my wife wants me to go get more mulch. More mulch. Mm -hmm. More mulch. And i got to confess, I didn't plant the seeds. My dad did. He has the green thumb one starting the tomatoes. And I think he's getting Big Brother on it, too. They're both doing it. That's really cool. Yep. That's really... Well, you know, that's a sign of a... A good heart right there. You could have taken all the credit for that. You oh. said, nah, nah, credit where credit's due. Yep. It's a, it's that reminder that it's not a one-person effort either. You know, Dad planted the seeds. Steve and Joy planted the plants. Put the mushroom mulch around it. Caleb helped do that. <laughs> <laughs> and God made it grow. Yeah. And you know what the Bible says? I, I was doing a scripture the other day. I forget exactly where 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 it is but it says to work with your hands to work with your hands and then it gives a reason why so you have something to give to other people in Amen. need Amen. that's exactly what the scriptures and uh, you know if you check back I, I did it I did it on rise and shine I just can't remember the script it says work with your hands it said quit lying Quit stealing and work with your hands so that you might have something to give to somebody else. We started a, a what do we call it up at church, that uh, table out front? Sharing table? Sharing the really? harvest. That's harvest what, table. Harvest yeah. table. Mm -hmm. And you guys have contributed to that. And, you know, there's people coming to our church, they don't even have a room to grow a garden. They have no idea how to grow a garden. But I watch them on Sunday, man, when they pick up a tomato like that or, or, or a beech like that or a cucumber like that, you think you give them a million dollars. Does that make you smile? Yes, sir. It's a good feeling to bless somebody you. else. It yep. is. Amen? So every one of you out there has something, some gift or talent that God has given you, and you could use it for the Lord. And I encourage you to do that. Okay? We've had a good time being with you today. I want to thank you for the opportunity coming into your life every day. And I'm, you going to say, you want I to do. Say, I'm anxious. I want to say something. Hold the tomato. No, I want to hold the tomato. <laughs> I, I think that it's important. It's important that everyone knows that we couldn't have done this if Chris wouldn't be doing his part and i think he should walk around here and be in the the view with us yeah. come on chris because i know i've seen how chris is growing in the lord and like this tomato bursting at the seams and i think it would be just appropriate that chris would pray that's really good about pray that our our, our listening audience would really experience spiritual growth because we all have to take the responsibility for our spiritual growth. It's our own responsibility, not the preachers, not the deacons, not anybody else. We're responsible for our spiritual growth. It's a personal walk with the Lord. Would you pray to that? Absolutely. Yeah. Lord, our Father, we give you all the thanks and the praise. All of it, Lord. We give you all the glory, and we give you all the recognition that you are God the Creator. You have guided us in many ways, Lord. You have brought us together in fellowship. You have allowed us to preach the gospel, to evangelize, to spread the word to others, and to grow in your Son, Lord Jesus Christ. 
You've imbued us with the Holy Spirit. You've imbued us with the power to have that conviction in our hearts to know what is right and wrong. The conviction in our hearts to help other people, to help each other, to help total strangers. We're talking to you now, everyone who's watching, that they're listening, that they're taking in the word of the Lord, and we give you thanks and praise for that ability. We grow together, and we grow towards that heavenly home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, see ya. Well, look for us tonight on Sunset with the Sun. Okay? And uh, praise God. Have a good day.